tucks the ball under his arm. Dribbles toward the three-point line out front to Paxson. Left wing to Pippen. Pippen out right on the three-point stripe. Gives it inside to Jordan. Turns on Bennett. The fadeaway shot is good. Michael Jordan picks right up where he was last week with a fadeaway two on the baseline, and the Bulls draw first blood. Price right wing to Nance. Out front to Winston Bennett. Off of the left side to Elo. Elo against Jordan. Elo holding the ball over his head, lobs it into Doherty. Doherty backs in on Cartwright, draws the double team out to Elo. Left wing three in the air on the rim, no good. Rebound Bennett, touch pass over to Larry Nance. He wasn't expecting it. And the ball off his hands and out of bounds. Chicago ball, 45 seconds gone in the first quarter. Into the fourth court, packs and delivers on the right side to Jordan. Jordan outside the three-point line. Right on the three-point stripe. Inside to Cartwright. Cartwright right of the lane against Doherty. Faces up on Doherty. Turns to his left. Steps into the lane. Throws one up. No good of the rebound. Larry Nance. Outside to Price. Price over the timeline into the forecourt. Price to the top of the key. Comes down the lane. Left side Winston Bennett. Bennett out to Nance. Left of the circle. Nance's jumper. Good. And the game's tied at two. Bulls come quickly to the other end. On the left side, Scotty Pippen drops it into Cartwright. Right hand jump hook is up and in. Cartwright gets his first two. Bulls up 4 2, 10 29 to play in the first quarter. Price takes the ball over to the timeline into the forecourt of the right wing. Price comes around to Doherty pick out front, 20 footer off the rim. Ricochets into the corner and out of bounds at the Cavs bench, and the ball goes back to Chicago. 10 18 to play of the period, 4 2, Bulls lead. Paxson walks the dribble into the forecourt. Off of the left side to Scotty Pippen. Pippen sideline left. Out front to Cartwright. Cartwright at the top of the key. Off of the right wing to Paxson. Paxson outside the three-point line. Dribbles top side. Give to Jordan. Jordan puts the three in the air. Off the back of the rim. No good. Elo with the rebound. Elo comes over the timeline into the forecourt. Comes down side of the lane. Back out to Doherty. Over to Price. Price drops it into Nance. Nance goes in on Grant under the basket. Off of the right side. Bennett said shoots. Hits. Winston Bennett with his first two, and the Cavs not the ball game at four. Into the fourth court of the left wing, Paxson. Paxson between the circles against Mark Price, back of the left wing to Jordan. Jordan outside the three-point line, one bounce with the left hand, top side to Paxson, around on the right to Scotty Pippen. Pippen on the right side of the fourth court, gives him the sideline to Jordan. Jordan sets in three-point country, then walks the dribble in on Bennett, flips it over to Grant. Grant left to the circle for the jump shot, off the rim, no good as the time expired on the shot clock, rebound Cavs. Down the floor, Price to Doherty down the lane. He is fouled driving to the basket. That'll put Brad Doherty on the free throw line. And the foul is on Michael Jordan. And Jordan with his first foul. That will put Brad Doherty on the line. Doherty scoreless to the moment. He is a 69% free throw shooter. 9.08 to go in the first quarter. And Doherty swishes the first of two. And the Cavs move up 5-4. Doherty again, line to the right. Blue 43, trimmed in orange. Johnny's white Cavalier home uniform. Second toss follows the first one in. And Doherty with a deuce, and the Cavs with a 6-4 lead. Packs into the backcourt, gets some pressure from Nance, then picked up at the timeline by Price. Doubled up by Nance, and an over and back. Jackson ran into the trapping, doubled up on defense at mid-floor, and stepped into the backcourt trying to get away from them. 6-4 Cavs. 9.02 to play in the first quarter. Elo to Price. Price well out in front, goes to the left wing. Price dribbling with the left hand, feeds down the left sideline. Nance turns, shoots, shot didn't go. Doherty stabs the rebound. Doherty turns, looks under the basket, nobody home. Dribbles in toward the lane, gets in on Cartwright, doubled up by Jordan. Doherty hanging on, Cartwright covers him, and Jordan steals the ball. Jordan the bounce down the floor to Pippen, runs over Bennett, and there's the charge. Scotty Pippen ran over Winston Bennett and drew the charge. And Winston has to be a very happy young man right now. He's been taking charges all season long, and that's the first call that he has received. 6-4 cat. 8.32 to play in the quarter. Price on the three-point line to the left wing down into the left corner. Elo fires from there. Good. Elo gets his first two, and the Cavs are up 8-4. 8.21 to play of the period. Cartwright bounces the ball into Paxson. Paxson comes quickly to the forecourt down the right sideline. Paxson stops, double teamed, and Elo reached out. 
block the shot. And they blocked it out of bounds, so it goes back to the Bulls. Pippen, far side of the forward court. Out front to Paxson, gives the ball to Grant. Grant at the top of the key against Nance in a Clemson matchup. Right side to Pippen, down to the baseline, couldn't shoot, and threw the ball to Nance. Doherty covered him up, and then Nance threw the ball away. Grabbed by Pippen, Pippen in the lane for the 12-footer, up on the rim, no good. Rebound, Grant fights it back up on the rim and in. Horace Grant with his first two. Cavs lead 8-6, 7-49 to play, first quarter. Bounce to Doherty, left to the lane. Doherty holding the ball over his head. Turns on Cartwright down to the baseline. Turns back the other way. Outside Elo from 18. In and out. Rebound grabbed by Grant. And the Bulls with a chance to tie. 7.32 to play on the quarter. Into the forecourt, Michael Jordan. Jordan to the right wing. Double team. Pass in to Cartwright. Cross the lane to Pippen on the left side from 18 feet. Shot didn't go. Rebound Michael Jordan back up. In and foul. Well, Jordan has four. He'll look for five at the line. Larry Nance picking up his first foul. Jordan going to the free throw line. He is an 85% free throw shooter. Bangs it off the back of the rim, no good, and it's an 8-8 tie. Into the forecourt come the Cavs. Elo swings to the right wing outside the three-point line against Michael Jordan. Elo stops top side to Price between the circles. Price around Nance to the left sideline. Price then cuts back into the middle. Paxson reaches out and fouled him from behind. Paxson picking up his first foul, second of the Bulls as a team. And with this, the Cavs take time. Timeout, seven minutes to play in the first quarter of the game, tied at eight on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. 16-13, Cavs lead. 3.18 to play in the first quarter. Hot Rod hit the first free throw prior to the timeout. Will now try to complete the pair and give the Cavs a four-point lead. John Ruddy, line to the right, looks up, puts it up, rimming in. Two for Hot Rod, and the Cavs lead 17-13. to to the timeline on the right side, the ball goes to Grant. Outside to Jordan between the circles, now to B.J. Armstrong. Armstrong, top side to Charles Davis. Davis checked by Nance, right side, Grant outside jumper. Across the rim, no good of the rebound. Davis back out to Jordan, the three in the air, right there. Michael one for three in three-point efforts, but that one gives him nine points of the ball game. 17-16 Cavs, 2.52 to play in the quarter. Jordan has put up 197 three-point field goals this year. Not all of them have gone in, however. Top side, Elo to Doherty. Back out to Elo on the left wing. Elo runs it to the middle, spins on Jordan. 12-footer off the back of the rim. Rebound picked off by Jordan. Jordan heads down the floor into the forecourt of the right wing. Jordan works his way around the top of the key. Left of the lane, inside up with the left-hander, scores. Jordan single-handedly brings the Bulls back into the lead at 18 to 17 with 2.18 to play in the first quarter. Elo right wing. Elo to the top of the key. Stops. Back out to Price. Price between the circles. Right wing Elo. Elo sets for 22-footer. Missed it. Rebound brought down by Grant. He tore it away from Hot Rod. Gets it out to B.J. Armstrong. Armstrong takes it into the fourth quarter of the right wing, down the right side. Armstrong checked by Price, back out to Grant, top side Davis. Davis from the top of the three-point arc, he hits the jumper. He was on the line when he let it fly, so it counts only two. 20 to 17, Bulls. Price into the fourth court against Armstrong, and B.J. called for the bump and run. It's his first foul. And with the Bulls over the limit, Price will go to the line. Mark Price, seven points of the ball game, three for three at the line. Chucky Brown coming into the ball game now. And Nance sits down, so Chucky Brown in averaging eight a game and a bit better than nine and a half a game against the Bulls. Free throw up and in for Mark Price, his eighth point of the ball game, and the Cavs trail 20 to 18. Price again, line right, unloads and hits a pair. Nine points for Mark Price and the Cavaliers trail by one, 20 to 19 with a minute and 40 to play in the first quarter. B.J. Armstrong 
Right wing against Price, right side. Jordan's outside jumper, nothing but net 13 for Michael, and he's at it again. 22-19 Bulls. Right wing, Price outside the three-point line. His three is in the air, right there. Price with a dozen, and the Cavaliers bounce right back into a tie 22. Quick flip to the other end, and Horace Grant slams it home. Grant with four to break the tie. Bulls lead 24 to 22. On the right wing, Price looking for a three. Goes top of the key. Off of the left wing to Wheelow. Wheelow lobs it into Hot Rod. Hot Rod turns baseline. Jump hook good with a right hand. John Hot Rod Williams with four. And the ball game is knotted at 24. On the right side, Jordan. Inside a minute to play of the first quarter. Michael holding the ball over his head. Flips it in to Grant. Grant right of the lane. Back outside to... Davis, he brings it down right of the lane, put up an air ball, may have been deflected, it was by Hot Rod, grabbed by Doherty. Doherty to Price, Price into the fourth court, 33 seconds to play on the quarter, the Cavs and the Bulls are even at 24. Price on the right wing, Elo open for the jumper, got it! Greg Elo with four, Cavs lead, 26-24, 26 seconds to go in the period. Armstrong gives the ball to Jordan, and Jordan will walk the dribble through the center circle into the fourth court. Jordan between the circles, 14 seconds, 12 on the shot clock. Price jumps out on him, they give to Grant. Grant back out to Jordan. Jordan against Elo, five on the shot clock. Jordan goes to the line, skids to a stop, puts up the jumper, he got it, and he's fouled. So Jordan with 15. will look for 16 at the line. The foul on Elo is his first. It's a tie at 26. And Michael Jordan, who missed his first free throw of the evening. Pretty good bet to tie, untie the ball game with three seconds exactly to play in the first quarter. Jordan ready. This would be his 16th point if he gets it. And he does. 27-26 Chicago. Doherty flipped to Elo. Elo in the backcourt, gets to the timeline, throws it on the run. Glass and rim at the end of the first quarter. Finds the Chicago Bulls with 27, the Cavs with 26. Six fifty-three to play of the half. Cavs thirty-five, Bulls thirty-four. There'll be free throws coming off this timeout for Stacy King. Cavs of the moment are operating with John Morton and Steve Kerr at the guards. Hot Rod Williams and Larry Nance of the forwards and Trier Rollins at center. The Bulls are going with Jordan and Armstrong of the guards. Purdue at center flanked by King and Pippen. And it's Stacey King at the free throw line. He is a 70% free throw shooter looking for his first points of the evening. One to tie and two for the Bulls to go back on top. Sellout crowd here tonight at the Coliseum. Standing room only. The Kings free throw in and out. Keeps the count at 35-34 Cavaliers. Jimmy Clark now asking the television cameraman to retreat on the baseline a bit. Ready? Aims and fires and the game is tied. King with his first point. Cavaliers and Bulls nodded at 35, and the Cavs with the ball. Kerr against pressure in the backcourt by Stacey King. Lobs it to the forecourt. Nance gets there first, picks up the ball, gets it back out to Kerr. Kerr goes to the circle, into the lane, and he is foul driving into the middle. Foul on B.J. Armstrong. That's Armstrong's second foul on the Bulls. That puts him over the limit, so Kerr goes to the line. Steve Kerr looking for his first points of the evening. Kerr is an 85% free throw shooter. Cavs 74% as a team. First one goes up and in. Cavs back on top, 36-35. Well, the ball goes well tomorrow night about this time. The Cavs will be landing in Miami. Play the Heat Friday night. Come home for Indiana on Sunday afternoon. Second toss for Kerr goes up and in. And the Cavaliers lead 37 to 35 with 6.35 to play in the first half. Jordan walks the dribble into the forecourt against John Morton, goes to the left wing. Jordan still out there against Morton. Pass to Purdue, back to Jordan. Jordan down the left side, gets by Morton, goes under the basket, put it up and in, and he was fouled. 
basket is good, and the foul was on Trier Rollins. Now Rollins with his second foul. Jordan's basket ties the ball game, and he has 18 in the game. He looked for 19 of the line. Steve Kerr replaced by Craig Elo. Jordan now with a chance to put Chicago back on top. One for two at the line thus far, and two for three. 19 points for Jordan, and it's 38-37 Chicago. Hot Rod into tree and back to Hot Rod against the zone press. Ahead to Elo. Elo lobs it into the forecourt to Rollins, who brings it down, gives it back to Elo. Elo over left to the circle to Hot Rod. Pass knocked away and stolen by Stacy King. King to Armstrong. Feed into the forecourt of the left side to Pippen. Cross court Jordan. Jordan on the right wing against Nance. Purdue sets a pick. Jordan doesn't use it. Then Jordan goes to the line of the lane, down the middle, puts it up, didn't get it, but he was fouled driving to the basket. The foul was on Hot Rod Williams. John with his first foul. Jordan with that black 23 trimmed in white on his red Chicago Bulls uniform. Sights and shoots the first and gets it. And Jordan arrives at 20 points. With 5.56 still to play in the first half. 39-37. Second one rattles the rim and falls in. 21 for Jordan and the Cavaliers trail 40-37. to 37. In the backcourt ball knocked out of bounds off Price. Price and Doherty again working against that pressure defense and the Bulls made it pay off. 5.55 to play. First half. Ball comes into Jordan right of the lane throws it up. He did not get it but he was fouled. Foul is on Craig Elo. No, Elo has his second foul. And the Cavaliers' fourth team foul, and Jordan again goes to the line. Michael with 21 points in the ball game. It's the first, has 22, and the Bulls march ahead to the tune of 41 to 37. Second toss, also good. 23 for Jordan, and the Bulls lead by five. And again, full court pressure by the Bulls. Price coming ahead, lobs it into the forecourt of the left wing to Nance. Back out to Price. Price left wing down the left side to Elo. Elo against Pippen. Elo swings out to the three-point line and loads a 20-footer. Good. Greg Elo with six, and the Cavs cut it down to 42 to 39. Out front, B.J. Armstrong on the left side to Pippen. Pippen on the left wing. Pippen drops it into Jordan. Jordan left to the lane against Elo. Pass under to Pippen, and Hot Rod fouled it. John picking up his second foul, and the Cavaliers are over the limit. Free throws for Scotty Pippen. Pippen with four points in the ball game. His first free throws coming up. He is hitting two out of every three at the free throw line for the year. Puts the first one over the rim, and it skids in. That's five points for Pippen. The New Jersey Nets lead New York at halftime tonight, 61 to 44. Philadelphia 63, Boston 49 of the half. Second toss. Back of the rim, no good. Ricochets outside, and Price chases it down. Price into the forecourt to Elo. Elo on the right wing. Checked by Purdue. Backs out. Bounce into Doherty against Jordan. Doubled by Purdue. Back to Elo. Three in the air. Good! Elo with nine, and the Cavaliers come right back to within one, and a long throw down floor, and Elo shaken up, peels himself off the deck, and are going to, they're going to take a 20-second timeout. Elo cracked his head on the floor. Well, the Cavs take this 20-second timeout as Gary Briggs goes out to check out Craig Elo. Say, buy a cup of coffee at Convenient Food Mart and receive a Cavs souvenir commuter mug, all for $1.49. The day after a Cavs win, take your Cavs mug to Convenient Food Mart for a free coffee fill-up. Valid only at stores in Cuyahoga, Lake Geauga, Ashtabula, and Trumbull Counties. Well, Elo appears to be reasonably in order. A couple of other halftime scores, Miami 57, Orlando 48, and Detroit 50, Charlotte 33. By the time we get out of here tonight, all of the other games should be finalized with the exception of the West Coast contest between the Lakers and the Clippers. Pippen will inbound on the baseline to the right of the basket into Jordan. Jordan checked by Elo, doubled by Nance. Ball goes inside to Stacy King. Back to Jordan, drives through heavy traffic and scores. That's 25 for Jordan. Steal by Pippen, under to Jordan. Nance blocked the shot, put Jordan on the floor for the foul. The 
also bring Horace Grant back into the ball game for Chicago. Foul on Nance is his second. It is 45-42 Chicago, 4.52 to play in the first half, and Jordan already with 25 points in the ball game will now look for 26. Up, rim and in. 26 points for Michael. It's averaging 33 against the league and 44 against the Cavs per ball game. Jordan second. Swish 27 for Jordan. And again, the Bulls lead by five at 47 to 42. Elo in the backcourt. Dribbles up through the center circle. 4.45 to play in the half. Elo feeds right corner to Price. Price with a 20-footer. No good. Ricochets out to Jordan. Jordan comes down the floor with a pitch to Pippen. Pippen stops in the wing. Cross court right side. B.J. Armstrong out to Grant. Right of the circle. The shot is off the back of the rim and over the backboard. And the Cavs get it back. 47-42. Chicago with 4.29 to play in the first half. Up to the time stripe. Price into the fourth quarter of the left wing. Price stops, gives the ball to Doherty. Doherty left to the lane against Will Purdue. Steps back, gives in the middle to Nance, who lost the ball. Picked up by Jordan. Jordan coming into the fourth quarter of the right wing. Jordan on the right wing, whips it outside to Grant. Free throw line, jump shot, no good off the rim, and comes back outside. Last touch by Elo, and it went out of bounds. 4.06 to play in the first half. Pippen will inbound on the near side of the forecourt. Pippen top side to Grant over on the right wing to Armstrong. Armstrong one on one with Price. Now in it goes to Pippen, comes into the lane, puts up the left hand layup, no good of the rebound. Hot Rod fires it down to Elo. Elo right wing goes by Armstrong, lays it in. What a move by Elo. 11 for Elo. He put a move on BJ Armstrong and blew right by him to the basket. 47 44, Bulls by three. Armstrong, top side to Jordan, around on the right wing to Pippen. Pippen against Nance. Pippen gives it back to Jordan. Jordan sideline right against Elo, comes around, Purdue's pick, long jumper, got it. Michael Jordan has 29, and the Cavaliers trail by five. Elo into Doherty, and as Doherty tried to back in on Purdue, Purdue had him in an arm lock, and the foul will be on Will Purdue. Purdue's first foul. Bulls are over the limit. Doherty will shoot the free throws. Brad has only two points in the ball game on a pair of first quarter free throws. 49-44, Chicago, 322 to play in the first half. Doherty, line right. Ready aims and fires. Good. Brad with his third point of the Cavs are down 49-45. Already ready again. Sights it, shoots it, and rolled it off the rim. Purdue with a rebound. Gives it outside to B.J. Armstrong. Armstrong will take the ball into the forecourt. Off of the left sideline to Pippen. Pippen sideline left against Nance. Comes around Purdue. Stops in the wing. Left sideline Armstrong. Back out to Pippen. Pippen to the line. Top side. Grant jumper top of the key on the rim. No good of the rebound. Doherty knocked away, picked up by Jordan, turns around, flipped it up, never got there, grabbed by Nance and out to Price. Price comes into the forecourt. Price feeds it to Hot Rod, drives from the left wing, and is foul going to the basket. And the foul is on Grant. Horace Grant with his first foul. Fans thought it should well have been Jordan with the foul. They were both in on Hot Rod. And I wish I had a nickel for every time. Jordan has doubled somebody defensively, and the whistle is blown, and the other guy got the foul. 2.51 to play. Hot Rod's free throw is up and in. Nine points for Hot Rod. He's hit three out of four at the line. Cavs trail by three. John again, good again. Ten points for John Hot Rod Williams. And the Cavs trail 49 to 47 with 2.48 to play. Price of the backcourt with Armstrong. He fires it into the forecourt to Grant, who hands it back to Armstrong. Sideline right to Pippen. Pippen moves inside the three point line, goes right sideline to Jordan. Jordan against Elo. Jordan works down to the baseline and a whistle and an illegal defense call to the Cavs. It's Larry Nance, the guilty party. It's a warning, but it does give the Bulls the ball back with a new 24 second clock. 
2.32 to play on the half. 49-47 Chicago. Pippen to Purdue. Purdue top of the key. Purdue one bounce. Stops. Double teamed by Doherty and Price. Goes right sideline to Armstrong. Armstrong flips it in to Pippen. Turns. Shoots. Nope. Rebound. Hot rod. Hot rod outside to Price. Price comes over the timeline. Cavs with a chance to tie the game. Price to the top of the key, to the line, to the lane, threw it for Doherty and knocked away by Jordan and out of bounds. Cavs have the ball, 15 on the shot clock, 2.12 to play on the half. Hot Rod, baseline right, lobs it outside to Price. Price, the three in the air, off, no, he went right down to Doherty, he put it up, didn't get it. Rebound, Nance goes back up, blocked by Purdue and out to Jordan. Jordan over the timeline, flips it over to Armstrong, Armstrong on the left side. Armstrong with the dribble. Armstrong outside the three-point line. Price's three was an air ball. Doherty missed, then Nance had his shot rejected by Will Perdue. Left wing Armstrong shot didn't go. Rebound Doherty and out to Price. Price with a minute and 40 to go in the first half. Gets the ball back from Hot Rod. Works to the circle. Left wing Elo fakes the three. Jordan jumped into him. No call. Elo went around him and missed the shot. Rebound Perdue. I mean, protecting a superstar is one thing, but that's embarrassing. Armstrong right side to Jordan. Anybody else would have a foul. Jordan goes into the lane, throws it up and in. Michael with 31. And the paying patrons here tonight, a little embarrassed and unhappy with that very obvious non-call. Right sideline, Price. Price drives to the middle. Tried to go under to Doherty, but they foul on the pass off on B.J. Armstrong. Three fouls on Armstrong. The officials are having no problems calling fouls on the rest of the Bulls tonight. Three on Armstrong, two on Cartwright, three on Paxson thus far, two on Pippen. Price hits the free throw. Mark with his 16th point of the ball game. And with this, a timeout will be taken by the Chicago Bulls. 1.05 to play in the first half. 51-48 Chicago. One oh five to play in the first half. There'll be another free throw coming for Mark Price off the end of this timeout. Price standing at the free throw line and ready to unload. In and out, rebound will Purdue. Bulls with a basketball, Cavs down by three. B.J. Armstrong to the forecourt against Price. Armstrong deals it to Purdue, stolen by Doherty. Doherty over to Price. Price driving down the middle, the ball knocked away. And no, they're going to say it wasn't knocked away. It just went out of bounds off Armstrong. And they give it back to the Bulls. Quick flip to Pippen. Cavs have better quit arguing and start playing ball. Off of the left wing to Jordan. A lob pass right side. Pippen fakes the shot, drives into the lane. Little four-footer off the back of the rim. Rebound Doherty. Doherty in the backcourt. Gives the ball to Price. Over the timeline into the forecourt comes Price with less than a half minute to go in the half. Bounce to Nance. Nance backs in on Pippen. Turns jump hook. Good. Larry Nance with his second basket and four points. 51-50 Chicago. 18 seconds to go in the half. Jordan brings it up to the timeline into the forecourt against Elo. Jordan and Elo one-on-one -on -one with 10 seconds. Jordan going to be doubled by Price, left wing to Armstrong. Armstrong into the corner. Pippen covered back out to Armstrong. Left wing from 18. Good by B.J. Armstrong, his first basket of the game. And that is the end of the first half. So at the intermission, the Chicago Bulls 53, the Cleveland Cavaliers 50 on the Cleveland Cavaliers radio basket. Cavs with a basketball. Winston Bennett, who started the ball game, played briefly but played well. Gives the ball to Elo. Elo into the forecourt. Elo against Jordan to the right wing. Ball out front to Price. Price puts the three in the air right there. Mark Price drills a three-pointer from the top of the key. Has 19 points in the ball game, and the Cavaliers instantly tie it at 53 on the right wing Paxson Paxson takes it into cart right into the lane running left hand hook bashed off the glass ricochets outside to Wheelow 
Elo down the floor to Price, flipped it already down the middle, lays it up on the rim. No rebound, Michael Jordan. Jordan with the basketball on the right wing to Pippen. Pippen back out to Jordan. Jordan on the right side, Paxson gives to Grant. Grant back out to Paxson, drops the ball into Cartwright into the lane, turns to his left, flips the shot up and in. Uh, Cartwright with seven. And the Cavaliers trail 55 to 53. Into the fourth court. Doherty holding the ball out of the top of the three-point arc. Goes to Price into the lane. Back out to Doherty. Off of the left side. Nance fires off the rim. No good of the rebound. Brought down by Jordan. Jordan ahead of the pack. Drives with a right-hand slam. Well, you get him in the open court. You can just kiss it goodbye. That's 33 for Michael Jordan. 57-53 as the Bulls respond. On the right side, Elo, and off the ball, we have a little collision. It's Cartwright, the guilty party. Oh, Cartwright with his third foul. First on the Bulls as a team. Winston Bennett will do the inbounding. Up front to Doherty. Doherty at the top of the key, holding the ball off on the right wing to Price. Price gives the ball to Wilo. 22-footer off the iron, no good. Of the rebound brought down by Jordan. Jordan down the floor with the basketball, goes down to the circle, pulls up for the jumper, and nails it. Michael, Michael Jordan has 35, and the Bulls have a six-point lead at 59-53. to Price takes it to the forecourt of the left wing to the left sideline into Doherty. Doherty left of the lane against Cartwright. Muscles in. Turns to his left. Uh, he walked, but he was also fouled, and Cartwright just picked up his fourth foul. I think, no, they're going to call it on Paxson. Paxson, who cannot believe it, and neither can I, Jim. <laughs> well, John Paxson has his fourth foul. Jimmy Clark made that rather unusual call and they're going to bring Hot Rod Williams back into the ball game at this juncture as Brad Doherty goes to the free throw line and drills the free throw Brad has done his only scoring of the night from the free throw line he has four points and five tries Larry Nance sits down in favor of Hot Rod Williams Doherty ready again 59-54 and still that way as he missed the free throw and Cartwright picks off the rebound the Bulls with the basketball into the fourth court Paxson. 9.40 to play third quarter. Paxson off of the left side of Pippen. Pippen sideline left against Evo. Pippen runs it into the lane. Over to Grant. Right of the circle for the jump shot. Good. Horace Grant with six points. Cavs down 61-54. 9.25 to play third quarter. Price on the sideline. Whips it into Doherty. Turns with a right-hand jump hook. Didn't go. Rebound. Jordan had it and lost it. Hot Rod gets it back. Gives to Wheelow between the circles. Right wing to Price. Price makes his move on Paxson. Tries to shoot. He does. He missed. But Paxson is going to be nailed with another foul. And that's five on Paxson. And a technical foul to go with it. So Paxson with five fouls. And a technical foul from Nolan Fine. Well, the Cavs have a chance to get three points here. And Price can shoot them all. His first one is good. And Price has scored the technical foul shot for his 20th point of the ball game. Now he has two coming as he was fouled in the act of shooting by Paxson. 9.09 to play in the third quarter at 61.55. Bulls. Second toss. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Well, Price hit the first seven free throws that he took tonight. He hits that one as well. 21 for Price, and the Cavs are down 61 to 56. Into the forecourt. Paxson stays in the ballgame with those five fouls. Over to Grant. Grant checked by Hot Rod. Pass into Jordan, left of the lane, 12 footer. Beauty. 37 for Michael Jordan, and it is 63-56. Left side, Hot Rod, hands the ball to Price. Price juggles it, but hangs on, and as he heads for the middle, he is fouled. Foul was on Grant. Grant with his third, second foul. The fourth on Chicago was a team now 
Phil Jackson will bring B.J. Armstrong back into the game. Paxson sits down with those five fouls. Armstrong back in with two points and three fouls. Bennett on the near side of the forecourt. Holds the ball over his head. Goes out front off the base of the center circle to Doherty. Doherty off on the left wing to Price. Price inside to Hot Rod. Turns in the lane. Shot blocked by Grant out to Elo. He puts it back up. No good. Rebound. Bennett muscles it up on the rim. No, but he was fouled. And the foul is on Pippen. That's three fouls on Scotty Pippen. Now the way this one is going tonight, the entire Chicago Bulls team will foul out, and Michael Jordan will have 140 points. 8.33 to play, third quarter. Bennett hits. Winston with his third point of the ball game. 63-57. 58, Bennett. Four points in the game. Cartwright inbounds to Jordan. 8.30 to go in the contest. Back to B.J. Armstrong. He takes it over the timeline into the forecourt. Off of the left sideline to Jordan. Jordan against Elo. Drives to the middle in a crowd. Lays it off to Grant who slams it. Grant with eight. And Jordan with an assist. 65-58. Bulls by seven with 8.10 to play third quarter. Elo from the sideline to the left wing. Stops. Over to Winston Bennett. Bennett to the free throw line against Pippen. Comes down the lane and walked with the ball. They got the ball in the hole, but it won't count. They say he traveled. Eight minutes exactly to play in the third quarter. 65-58 Bulls. Cavs are playing hard, but they're not playing with a sharpness. Bulls are letting Michael Jordan do it all, and the crowd just sitting around waiting for the bus. Pass inside. Jordan couldn't handle it. Picked up by Hot Rod. Down the floor to Bennett. Bennett on the right wing. Goes into the lane. Puts it up with the left hand. Around the rim. No good of the rebound. Pippen. Pippen guns it down floor to Jordan. Jordan has Hot Rod to beat. And Hot Rod makes sure Jordan does not score that time as he tackled him right out of the air and then hung on to him to make sure he didn't splatter all over the floor. It's a breakaway foul on Hot Rod Williams. In spite of the fact that Hot Rod caught Jordan to keep him from falling. Someone ought to explain to Dick Bavetta the intent of the breakaway foul is when the referee feels that the player has committed a foul with the possibility of injury. Well, Hot Rod tackled Jordan in the air, but he caught him to keep him from falling to the ground, and that should negate the breakaway. And, of course, Michael... Pops the free throw. He has 38. 66-58. Bulls pulling ahead here with 7.35 to play in the third quarter. Second toss. Also good. 39 for Michael Jordan. 67-58. Bulls by nine. Well, the other day when they printed the story that Dick Bavetta has a number one record in terms of road teams winning in the NBA. I'm afraid Dick may have read it. Thinks he's Earl Strom. Here's right side. Jordan jumper. Good. Well, that's 41 for Jordan. And the Cavs are going to take time with 7.25 to go in the third quarter. And a technical foul is called on Lenny Wilkins, who is about to get another one. And he's gone. Bavetta just threw Lenny Wilkins out of the ball game. Now I know he thinks he's Earl Strong. 7.25 to go. We'll take this time out of the Cleveland Cavaliers radio basketball. Game. Jordan ready again. Rimming in. 43 for Michael Jordan. The Cavs trail 71 to 58. Since the game was tied at 53, the Bulls have outscored the Cavs 18 to 5. Into the forecourt. Price slips and falls, then gets back up on the dribble. The Cavs down by 13. The give to Price into the lane, forces the shot that didn't drop. And it's going to put Price on the line. He was fouled by B.J. Armstrong. Armstrong with his fourth foul. Penalty situation puts Price on the line. 
Mark already has 21 points in the ball game. Price hits the first of two. Cavaliers trail 71 to 59. Philadelphia bombing Boston late in the ball game of the Spectrum. It is 114 to 94. Second one for Price is good. 23 for Mark. 71-60 Chicago. 7:08 to play in the third quarter. DJ Armstrong on the left wing to Jordan. Jordan on the left side. Jordan at the top of the key. Jordan goes to the right wing, whips it out of the cart, right hot rod blocked his shot, grabbed by Bennett, now to Price. Price into the forecourt over to Elo. Elo on the left wing. Elo into Doherty. Doherty against Grant, muscles into the middle, puts it up, rim, no, rebound, Cartwright, clears it outside to Jordan. Jordan over the timeline into the forecourt, into the air, feeds to B.J. Armstrong from the left corner, he hits. B.J. Armstrong with four, and it is 73-60. Chicago, 6.29 to play in the third quarter. Left side, Price to Hot Rod. His baseline shot across the rim, no good to the rebound, Pippen. Pippen double teamed under the basket by Bennett and Doherty, but he managed to clear it to Jordan, who gets it down the floor to Armstrong. On the right side, Grant goes in on Hot Rod, good off the glass. Grant with 10, and the Bulls have their biggest lead of the night, 75-60, with Brown and Nance raiding to come on for the Cavs. Left side, Price. Price around a hot rod pick, the three in the air. No good off the glass. Elo fights it back up and in, and he's fouled. Well, they got the shot for the three-point play the hard way. The foul is on Michael Jordan. Would you believe it? That's his second. If he were a mere mortal, he'd be gone right now. He would have fouled out of the ball game. 5.56 to go. In the third quarter, 75-62. Elo's free throw off the front of the rim, no good. And in the scramble for the rebound, a loose ball foul is called on Larry Nance. Nance with his third foul. Cavaliers, second team foul. So with the basketball, Chicago and a 75-62 lead. Double team trap at the timeline. Pippen spins away. Gives the ball to the new kid in the block for the Bulls, and he just drilled a 22-footer. Clifford Lett. They picked him up on a 10-day contract when they put Craig Hodges on the... There's a foul on Lett at the other end as he collided with Elo. But they picked up Clifford Lett. He'd been in the CBA. He's from Florida at 6'3", a rookie. Played five minutes of scoreless ball the other night, and he just buried a 20-footer moments ago. Hodges is on the list now with a lower back string. 77-62. Evo will go to the free throw line. He has 13 points in the ball game, which is his average, and he hits the first toss. 14 for Elo, and it's 77-63. Second toss for Elo goes up and in. 15 points for Elo. 77 to 64, Chicago with five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Jordan at the timeline, lobs to Grant, right sideline to Lett. Back outside to Jordan, deflected it, hit Pavetta, went back to Jordan. He puts up the three and missed it. Rebound outside to Pippen, and the ball stolen by Price. Price drives to the other end, gives to Elo, and he slams it home with the right hand. 17 for Elo, and the Cavs cut it to 11 at 77 to 66. Clifford led into the forecourt, gives to Jordan. Jordan against Elo with 5.05 to go in the third quarter. Jordan comes down the right side, spins into the lane, outside to Grant for the long jumper. Good. Horace Grant with a dozen, and the Cavaliers trail 79-66. Price to the forecourt of the right sideline. Price works his way to the circle. Clifford Lett trying to cut him off, picked up his second foul. Clifford Lett with his second foul. Bulls are over the limit. Price will shoot two. Price has 23 points in the ball game. 4.44 to play in the third quarter. And Mark Price adds another free throw. Price has hit 5, 7, 9, 10, 12 out of 14 free throws thus far. Add one more. 25 for Price. Cavs trail 79 to 68 with 440 to go in the third quarter. Pippen into the forecourt of the left wing against Chucky Brown. Ball deflected, loose of the floor, grabbed by Cartwright. Cartwright hangs on to the ball. 
Gives it back to Jordan. Jordan left wing to Cartwright. Back to Jordan. Jordan, top of the three-point arc. Jump shot off the rim. No good of the rebound. Cartwright. Cartwright bounced back out to Clifford Lett on the right wing to Grant. Grant whips the ball inside for Jordan. Poked away by Hot Rod and out of bounds. One thing the Bulls have done tonight they have not done in previous games against the Cavs this year, and that is control the boards. Timeout Chicago, 4.15 to play. Third quarter, the Bulls by 11 on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. Ball from Pippen into Jordan, poked away and out of bounds. So the Cavs cough it back up, leaving 15 on the shot clock. Off on the left side, Jordan. Jordan against Elo. Jordan brings it out to the top of the key. Jordan on the right wing against Hot Rod. Down to the baseline, feeds it back out to Cartwright. Cartwright fakes Elo out of the way and fires a 15-footer. No good. Rebound, Hot Rod. Hot Rod down the floor for Elo. Elo drives and scores. Elo with 19, and the Cavaliers trail 79 to 70. Into the fourth court, Clifford left between the circles, right wing to Pippen. Pippen against Chucky Brown. Ball into Cartwright. Cartwright right of the lane. Turns faces up. Hot Rod holds the ball. Ball poked away, grabbed by Price. Hot Rod knocked it free. Into the fourth court, Price right wing. Elo drives on Jordan, puts it up, and they'll call the charge on Elo. Well, there's another reason to make the folks unhappy. Greg Elo. Driving to the basket, ran into Jordan and picks up his third foul. My only problem with that call is the fact that Jordan did not have his feet set when the collision came. And if you're going to have a charging foul, the defensive man has to be positioned in a stationary manner. And Jordan was not lobbed from Pippen right side Jordan, and he hits the jumper. Now we're now at 45 points for Michael Jordan, and he is bearing down on the Coliseum single-game scoring record. Right wing, Price unloads a 20-footer, doesn't go. Rebound Pippen. Pippen goes to the other end, veers off to the left side. 81-70, Bulls. Gives to Jordan, back to Pippen. Pippen with three minutes to go in the third quarter against Larry Nance. Pippen drops the ball into Jordan, spins away from Price, and hits the jump shot. Michael Jordan with 47 and counting. And it is 83-70, 2.45 to play in the third quarter. Right wing Price, top side Elo. Elo back to Price. Price on the right wing, lob it a hot rod ball, poked away from behind by Pippen. Pippen with a steal. Cavs are just not playing alertly at all tonight. We have a whistle and a timeout called by the Bulls because Pippen couldn't get the ball away, and now they're going to make it a 20-second timeout. So Chicago's going to take a 20 at this juncture. And it gives us an opportunity to tell you it's time out for Stouffer's Pizza, the best tasting pizza. One lucky fan will have a chance to win free pizza for a year during the Stouffer Pizza Shootout Contest at the April 4th Cavs Atlanta game. Get your game ticket stamped now. Pizza compliments of Stouffer's, the best tasting pizza. Most points in a regular season game against the Cavs down at the old Cleveland Arena, and he did it twice, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 53. The most points in the Coliseum, Bob McAdoo hit 50 on November 20th, 1975. I think it's safe to say we're going to see a new single game scoring record at the Coliseum tonight unless Jordan is run over by a bus very shortly. Off of the left side, Armstrong gives to Pippen. Pippen around Stacy King who's back in it forward. Right side, Jordan. Jordan puts up the jump shot. There's two more. Michael Jordan now with 49. He's one away from the single game Coliseum scoring record. 209 to play in the first and the third quarters. 85-70 Bulls. Cavs had it down to nine but couldn't stand prosperity. And the steal by B.J. Armstrong. Price reached out and grabbed him by the shirt for the foul. Price with his first foul, first in the final two minutes. There's Doherty back into the ball game. Larry Nance sits down. Will Purdue is going to come back on the floor now for the Chicago Bulls. Scoreless with a foul. He has the only Chicago block shot of the night. 85-70 Chicago with a minute and 57 to play in the third quarter. Pippen inbounds to B.J. Armstrong. 
Armstrong into the forecourt. Armstrong over to Pippen. Pippen against Chucky Brown. Back over to Armstrong. Armstrong on the right wing. Back out front to Pippen. Around on the left side to Jordan. Jordan against Elo. Jordan down to the baseline. Puts up the shot. Off the rim, no good. Rebound outside. Jordan gets it on a deflection and brings it back out front. Cavs just not a sharp team tonight. They're working hard, but don't have a lot of Christmas in their game. Here's Jordan into a crowd. He's going to set the new Coliseum scoring record to the free throw line. Foul was on Chucky Brown. So Brown with his first foul. Penalty situation puts Jordan on the free throw line. Michael has 49 points in the ball game. His first free throw will tie the Coliseum scoring record of 50. Up. There it is. One more and a new record. Somehow you knew sooner or later Michael Jordan was going to set the mark. He got it. 51 for Michael Jordan. A new Coliseum single game scoring record. And the Bulls are sailing 87 to 70. Price into the forecourt of the right side. Hot Rod drives on Purdue. And Purdue made the fatal, misstep, uh, fatal mistake of taking a step toward him and picking up the foul. Purdue's second foul. Charles Davis back into the ball game for the Bulls with five points. 87-70, hot rod on the free throw line. John has 10 points in the ball game and it is four out of five of the line. John Morton will be coming on for Cleveland as Hot Rod missed the free throw. John Morton in, scoreless, and Mark Price sits down with 25. Second one for Hot Rod is good. He has 11 points in the ball game. Cavs trail 87 to 71 with a minute eight to play in the third quarter. Armstrong to Davis. Charles Davis on the left side. They have given Jordan a breather. Davis gives the ball to Pippen. Pippen from the sideline against Hot Rod. Pippen makes his move on the baseline, drives under the basket, put it up and in. Pippen with seven, and it is 89-71. 46 seconds to go on the third quarter. On the left sideline, Mort, Morton stops, bounced to Hot Rod, into the lane for a little six-footer, good. Hot Rod with 13. Cavs trail, 89-73. The backcourt, Purdue dishes it into Pippen. Pippen brings it up in the backcourt. Over the time stripe, Pippen against Chucky Brown. 28 seconds to go in the quarter. Pippen comes around to Purdue, pick outside jumper around the rim, no good. Elo with a rebound. Elo outside to Jordan. Over into the forecourt, Morton on the right wing. Morton sideline right against Armstrong. Sets, drops it off to Doherty. Doherty right of the lane, back out to Morton, over to Elo. Elo puts up a three, got it. Greg Elo with 22. And the Cavaliers trail 89-76. Four seconds to go, and an offensive foul was called on Pippen as he ran over Elo at the other end. Pippen was so intent on trying to get complete control of the ball, he didn't see Elo and just charged right over it. 3.3 seconds to play. 76 for the Cavs, 89 for the Bulls, and it could be a heck of a lot worse. Ball into Morton. Morton at center floor to the circle, into the lane with a running right-hander. Good to beat the buzzer. Now John Morton with a running right-hander. His first two points of the ball game, and now at the end of three, it is Chicago 89, Cleveland 78, on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. Well, the Cavaliers... Have the basketball trailing by six, 94-88. With nine seconds to go in New Jersey, the Nets 104, the Knicks 101. Winston Bennett will inbound for the Cavs. Moments ago, they were down by 12. They've cut that in half. Price to the right sideline against Paxson. Price holding the ball over his head, whips it into Hot Rod. Hot Rod right of the lane, comes out of the right side. Covered by King, gives the ball to Doherty. Behind him to Price. Price on the right wing, out front, gets by Cartwright off of the left wing. Bennett goes into the lane, throws the shot up on the rim. And in! 
deflected by Pippen into the basket. Bennett has six of the Cavaliers. Now trail 94 to 90. Into the forecourt. It was Horace Grant actually who got a hand on that ball. Pippen's out of the ball game at the moment. Top side packs it to the right wing. Right side to Jordan. Jordan against Winston Bennett. Jordan dribbles back outside the Cavs trail by four into the lane Jordan changes his mind through the ball to Pax and back underneath the King muscled up missed the shot ball poked outside to Jordan Jordan between the circles six and a half minutes to go in the ball game and the Cavs trail by four they were down by 18 Jordan makes his move top of the key checked by Doherty out to Cartwright left side to Grant lob inside hot rod knocks it away grabbed by a price Three on two to Hot Rod. He drives. Goal tending. No. They call an offensive foul on Hot Rod. And Mark Price is screaming at Dick Bavetta. So Bavetta calls a charge on Hot Rod. And that gives the ball back to Chicago. Well, Mark, I have never seen Mark Price as hot as he is right now. They just showed it on the tell screen, and it was a terrible call by Bavetta. Remember the good old days when he was one of those homers you love to see come to your house? <laughs> on the left side, Pippen back in the ball game, out front to Cart right now, what? Foul is called a holding foul. I think it's going to be on Winston Bennett. Yep. Well, Bennett with his first foul. I knew the day they published the fact that Dick Bavetta had a higher record of teams winning on the road with his officiating than even Earl Strom that it was going to turn him into a monster. And it has. Grant, Jordan, circle, hits the jumper. 56 for Jordan, who has shattered everything record-wise of the Coliseum. Ball into Nance. Nance turn around, pops it up and in. Larry Nance with eight of the Cavaliers. Trail 96-92 with 5.35 to play in the ball game. Packs it into the forecourt of the left wing to Jordan. Jordan holds the ball over his head. He's outside the three-point line between the circles to Pippen, gives to Grant. Grant at the top of the key, left side Jordan from 18. Nope, rebound Nance. Nance to Price. Price into the forecourt. Price on the left wing. Price on the left side. Price outside to Hot Rod. To Nance, right side Bennett goes in on Pippen, back out to Nance, his 18-footer. Nope, rebound, Jordan. Michael Jordan, the one-man gang for the Bulls tonight. He has 56 points, 96-92 Bulls. Left side, Pippen. Pippen on the left against Nance, feeds into the corner to Jordan. Jordan comes around Cartwright, uses the screen and hits the jump shot. Jordan with 58. Now he's starting to bear down on his own single game scoring mark. We'll have to check that one out next. Into the forecourt. Price with a ball and calls timeout. So with 4.37 to play of the ball game, it is the Bulls 98, the Cavs 92. And Michael Jordan is now three points away from his own single game high of 61 points. That's regular season high. What about the playoffs? 63 in the playoffs. Well, he's certainly within shouting distance of that. Hot Rod will inbound on the far side of the forecourt. 98-92 Bulls. 4.37 to play of the ball game. It comes into Price on the right wing. Price whips the ball into Bennett. Bennett turns baseline, puts the shot up on the rim. No. Rebound comes out of the left side. Hot Rod went for the ball. Pippen grabbed him. But the ball went out of bounds and back to the Cavs. And Nolan Fine had a real good look at that. But outside of a couple of out-of-bounds calls, Nolan hasn't tooted his whistle all night except for that one T early in the ball game on Paxson. Right wing Price. Price outside the three-point line. Give to Hot Rod. Hot Rod top of the key. Back outside to Price. Price moves around Hot Rod. Price feeds it right sideline to Nance, who runs it into the lane, puts it on the rim. It fell off, but he was fouled driving to the basket. And the foul is on Cartwright. Well, Bill Cartwright with his fifth foul. And it's going to put Larry Nance on the free throw line. Nance with eight points in the ball game. His first free throws of the evening. Larry is 78% shooter and will pause for station identification on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. This is AM850 WRMR Cleveland. The music of
Nance hit them both. The Cavs trail by four. Jordan fakes the three. Gives to Grant in the circle. Right wing to Pippen. Pippen against Hot Rod. Drops it inside to Grant. Grant right of the lane. Turns on Nance in the middle. Back to his right jump hook. Beauty. Horace Grant with 14. And it's 194. Bulls with 343 to play. Price into the fourth court to the left wing. Price dribbling for the left hand. Price into Bennett. Whistle, they'll call Bennett for an offensive foul. Well, Winston Bennett with his second foul. They're going to bring Elo back into the ball game. Get Bennett out of there. Not because Winston's doing a bad job. It's just that uh, they got him zeroed in with that rookie foul call situation and that was another one of those 333 to play 194 bulls between the circles Paxson right wing to Pip and the ball into Cartwright knocked away by Hot Rod it bounces off Cartwright's leg and goes out of bounds Cavs have it back 324 to play ball comes into Price Price comes into the forecourt Price on the right wing against Paxson ball goes into Nance Nance right of the lane Grant jumps out on him, topside Doherty, left wing to Hot Rod, rumbles into the middle, throws it up with the right hand on the back of the rim, no, tips it back up and in. Hot Rod with 19, and again the Cavs closed within four at 196, and we're down to three minutes to play. Backs into the fourth court between the circles, right wing to Pippen. Pippen against Mans. Pippen works down the sideline, back out to Pax. Pax in between the circles, right side to Grant. Grant against Hot Rod, now covered by Nance. Grant right of the lane, whistle, and he walked with the ball. Now the Cavaliers get the ball back, trailing by four with 2.45 to play. And long feed to Nance on the left side. Nance into the air, give to Hot Rod, drives the wing, slams it with both hands. 21 for Hot Rod, and the Cavaliers trail by two in one of the strangest games I have seen in a long time. Into the four-court Jordan. Jordan around a Cartwright pick. On the right wing, his jumper, beauty. 60 points for Michael Jordan. 102.98. Into the fourth court, Price on the right side, runs over Paxson, and he fouls out of the game. Blocking foul on Paxson. So Paxson is out of there with 2.20 to go. And that puts Chicago over the limit, and Price will shoot two. Price with 25. It is 102.98 Bulls, 2.20 to go. The Nets hung on and beat the Knicks tonight, 106-101. You think the folks in New York aren't a little unhappy right now? B.J. Armstrong comes in to replace Paxson. Armstrong back in with four. It's 102 and 98. Strange game. Jordan, a sensational performance of 60. The rest of the Bulls club relatively quiet. Price hits the free throw. Cavaliers playing hard, but not with a lot of crispness, and yet they're down to within three here with 220 to go. Second one up and in, and this crowd, a full house, really not that enthusiastic tonight. Armstrong in the backcourt. Oh, slowly but surely, they're starting to wake up. 102 to 100. Jordan on the left wing against Elo. Pass to Grant. Give to Pippen. Pippen to the free throw line. Backs out against Hot Rod. Runs it into the middle. Forces the shot. Nope. Rebound Doherty. Cavs with a chance to tie it. Two minutes to go. Price on the right wing. Price outside the three point line. Price to the circle. Price right side line to Elo. Elo lobs it into Nance. Nance turns in a crowd and he is fouled and that will put the Cavs on the line again. The foul is on Grant, I believe. Nope, the foul. They called it on Jordan. Michael Jordan's third foul. At the free throw line, Larry Nance. If he hits two here, this game is tied at 102. There's one. 11 points for Larry Nance. 102-101 Chicago with a minute and 46 to go. Nance, tie, no, it was in the hole and it spun back out. Ooh. 143 to play. Bulls, 102-101. Jordan into the fourth quarter of the right wing against Elo. Skids to his stop. Gets it back out to Armstrong. 
Armstrong on the right wing. Elo really overplaying Jordan. Jordan got away from him, got the ball back, double team down the sideline. Armstrong fakes and shoots, missed that one. Rebound picked off by Jordan in the lane, and a foul is called. And the foul is on Mark Price. So Price with his second foul, then that's only the Cavs' second team foul. That was not a shooting foul, so the Bulls will get the ball. It's their first in the final two minutes, and the Bulls are going to take timeout. Timeout with a minute and 22 to play in the ball game. The Bulls 102-101 on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. Pippen on the near side of the forecourt. Inside to Cartwright. Cartwright back to Pippen. Pippen on the right wing. Pippen with a minute 18 to go. Pippen looking for Jordan. Trying to get it to him. Can't. Goes to the top of the key. Pippen now gives to Jordan who comes out. Jordan jumper left to the key. Air ball grabbed by Grant. Put it up and it falls off the rim but he was fouled. And the foul is on Larry Nance. Nance with his fourth foul. The Bulls are over to the free throw line as that put the Cavs into the penalty. Horace Grant will shoot him. He has 14 points in the ball game. That makes him the second most prolific scorer on the floor tonight for Chicago. There's nobody else even close to double figures. 102-101 Chicago with a minute and six to go. And the first free throw up and in. 15 for Horace Grant. 103-101. Michael Jordan with a 60-point game here tonight. He's one away from his regular season high. He shattered the scoring records against the Cavaliers. Grant hits both free throws, has 16 points, and the Cavs take time. Well, we've paid the rent, so we'll stay right here. It is 104 to 101, 13 Denver 99, Miami 109, Orlando 104, Detroit 106, Charlotte 97, Minnesota 93, Sacramento 88. Still to be heard from later tonight, the L.A. Lakers and the L.A. Clippers at the Sports Arena. That'll be starting in about seven minutes. Cavs ball, center floor, with a minute and six to play. Hot Rod fires the ball to Doherty, and he gives the ball to Price. Price on the right wing. Price against B.J. Armstrong, puts the three in the air, off the back of the rim, rebound, Nance, back out to Doherty. Doherty on the left sideline, Elo. Elo fakes the three against Jordan. Elo then comes around to Doherty, pick, and a foul is called. And the foul is on Michael Jordan. That's his fourth. Michael Jordan will send Elo to the free throw line. Greg has 22 points in the ball game. It is 104-101, Chicago with 49.8 seconds left. Elo puts the free throw up, no, off the front of the rim. And that thing started out, I didn't think it was even gonna draw iron. Elo now gonna try and split the pair. Up, good. Oh, 23 for Elo and it's 104-102. B.J. Armstrong in the backcourt draws the trap. Hot Rod and Price. He got it ahead to Pippen at the timeline. He's double teamed. Pippen in the backcourt whips it to Jordan off his hand and out of bounds. Boy, Pippen wound up and threw a sidearm pass out of bounds. And the Cavs are taking a 20-second timeout. So the Cavs take their 20 with 38.9 seconds to go. The Bulls are leading 104 to 102. Michael Jordan with a 60-point game has broken the Coliseum scoring record, the Cavs opponent's scoring record. He is within one of tying his own regular season scoring mark. 38.9 seconds to go. Bryce, Elo, Nance, Hot Rod, and Doherty. This crowd now standing up for the first time tonight, showing some real emotion. Elo to Price. Price into the forecourt of the right wing. Back over to Elo. Elo against Jordan on the left side. Drops the ball, picks it up, bounce into Hot Rod. Hot Rod back out to Elo. Elo down to the baseline. Eight-footer never got there. Rebound picked off by you-know-who, and a foul was called as he brought it down. Foul on Craig Elo. Elo with his fourth foul. And Jordan will go to the line. Now Jordan with a chance 
to break his own regular season scoring record with two free throws. 22.9 seconds to go. This game has been so strange, there is no way I would walk out of this one until it's completely over. Anything is liable to happen, even with Jordan hitting both free throws, which I think is very likely, although he may, he may brick a couple the way this game has gone. He missed the first. 22.9 seconds. Again, Jordan line to the right. Puts it up. Good. 61 for Jordan, matching his single season, a single game regular season high. He's done it twice before. Hot Rod will inbound at center floor. Waiting now as everybody gets squared away. Jimmy Clark gives the ball to Hot Rod Williams. Hot Rod lobs the ball to Nance. Knocked away by Grant. Grant lost the ball. Elo knocks it back to Doherty. Doherty to Price. Price into the forecourt. 17 seconds. Price into the air. Scoops to Elo. Left wing three in the air. Good! Elo hits a three to tie the game. Greg Elo buried a three-pointer to tie the ball game with 11.3 seconds to go. And the Bulls take time. Unbelievable. The next guy on the Chicago club in scoring is Horace Grant with 16. Cavaliers were down by 18 late in the third quarter. They were down by 12 in the fourth quarter, 94-82. They have now come back to tie this ball game at 105 with 11.3 seconds to go. So they, there is overtime tonight, and that's still a big if. There will be only a 65-second break before the start of the overtime. Part right, going to go full court. He deals it into Jordan. Jordan with 10 and a half seconds, brings it ahead with nine seconds. Double teamed into the fourth court. Jordan on the left sideline. Jordan out between the circles, off balance. Three air ball off the rim to Price, and we've got overtime. Michael Jordan unloaded a long three off the front of the rim, and at the end of regulation time, the Cavs and the Bulls are tied at 105. Cavs in the overtime session continue to go from right to left on your radio dial. Elo against Jordan. Around to Nance, pick top of the key. Stops, flips it to Hot Rod on the left wing. Nine on the shot clock into Doherty. Doherty goes in on Cartwright, back out to Elo. The three in the air off the back of the rim. Big bounce grab by Pippen. Pippen gives to B.J. Armstrong. Game tied at 105. We are in overtime at Cleveland. Into the forecourt, Armstrong gives the ball to Pippen. Pippen back over to Armstrong. Armstrong looking for Cartwright, but Hot Wright got a real firm grip on Bill Cartwright and picks up the foul. The foul is on number 18, Hot Rod Williams. That's five fouls on Hot Rod. Team first. It'll be Pippen to win by near side of the forecourt. 4.23 to go in OT. Outside Armstrong. Armstrong on the right wing against Price. Feeds along the right side, Jordan from 20 feet, missed the shot, rebound knocked up in the air, and Price and Grant battle for it. Who are they going to give it to? They're going to give it to the Bulls. Price again, unhappy with the call. This time, he thought that he had knocked the ball off Grant out of bounds, but Nolan Fine and Dick Pavetta guessed the other way. Ball in on the left side to Grant and outside to B.J. Armstrong. Off of the left side to Pippen. Pippen with 4.08 to play in the OT. Top side to Jordan. Jordan in three-point country. Around to Grant. Pick on the right wing. Gives to Grant at the top of the key. Up with a shot. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound to Elo. Elo hangs on to the ball in the backcourt. Gives the ball to Price. Price comes over the timeline to the right side to Nance. Nance goes to the circle. Out to Elo. Fakes the three. Goes to the line. Goes to the lane. Goes to the hole. He put it in. They'll call the charge on Elo. Greg Elo with his fifth foul. Charging foul. 105-105. Chicago gets the ball back. 3.45 to play in overtime. Neither team has scored. Into the forecourt, Armstrong on the left wing to Pippen. Pippen against Nance. Pippen holding the ball over his head, then takes one dribble and out to Cartwright. Cartwright off on the left side to Jordan. Jordan against Elo. 
Jordan on the left side. Jordan works his way to the line, puts up the jumper. Good. Michael Jordan with 63. Jordan with his best game ever, matching a game he had in playoffs. Out front, Price. Price top of the key, right wing. Price feeds down the right side to Hot Rod. Hot Rod covered by Grant. Hot Rod dribbles against him to the lane. He pivots, ball knocked away, stolen by Jordan. Jordan down the floor, whistle, and a foul is called on Larry Nance. Nance with his fifth foul. Second team foul on the Cavs. 107-105 Bulls, three minutes to play in the overtime. B.J. Armstrong into the forecourt against Price, top side to Pippen. Pippen at the top of the key, drops it into Cartwright in the lane, put up an eight-footer, hangs out of the rim, no, but he was called, a foul was called on Doherty. And Brad Doherty has his second foul. And it's going to put Bill Cartwright on the free throw line. Cartwright waiting for the ball. Doherty just looked up at the replay and said, where the heck was the foul on that one? Cartwright draws himself up and flips the first free throw in. That's eight points for Bill Cartwright. And the Cavaliers trail 108-105. 2.51 to play. Cartwright ready again. Good. Cartwright with nine, and the Cavs trail by four at 109-105. Into the forward court, Price. Price right sideline, drives by Armstrong, puts it up as he goes. Good off the glass, and he's fouled. Price with 29. It will put him at the free throw line, looking for his 30th point. Foul is on B.J. Armstrong, and that is his fifth foul. Price goes for the free throw and got it. Mark Price with 30 on the Cavs trail, 109 to 108. In the backcourt, B.J. Armstrong brings it up, got the double team and flips ahead to Cartwright. Left wing, Pippen lost the ball. Grabbed by Doherty. Doherty outside to Price. Price over the timeline into the forecourt of the right wing. 2.25 to go, the Bulls by one. Price looking for Nance, gives instead to Doherty. Doherty back out to Price. Price into Nance, and Pippen was holding Nance. So Scotty Pippen picks up another foul. That is his fourth. And the second of the Bulls is a team. Cavs ball. Now the Cavaliers trail by a point. 109-108 with 2.17 to play in the overtime. Price with a basketball coming off the timeout period. Gives between the circles to Doherty on the right wing to Hot Rod. Hot Rod top side to Price. His 20-footer is up on the rim. No good of the rebound. Michael Jordan. Jordan in the backcourt. Gives the ball to B.J. Armstrong. Two minutes to go. The Bulls by one. Armstrong into the forecourt against Price. Armstrong stops, gives to Pippen. Pippen checked by Hot Rod across the top of the key. Bounce right side. Jordan drives the baseline, but a whistle and the foul on Larry Nance. And Nance is out of the game. So Nance fouls out with 1.48 to go in the overtime with 11 points. That'll bring Winston Bennett in to take his place. Winston with six points and two fouls. And Jordan goes to the free throw line. He hits either one of these free throws. He will have the most points he has ever scored in any NBA game. There it is, his 64th point of the night. And it is 110 to 108 Chicago with a minute and 48 to play in the OT. Jordan again, line to the right. Puts it up and in. 65 for Michael Jordan. 111 to 108 Chicago with a minute and 45 to go in overtime. Price bringing the ball into the forecourt of the right wing against B.J. Armstrong. Price dribbling with the right hand. A minute and 38 and counting in the overtime period. Price stops at the sideline, feeds it to Doherty. Doherty in a crowd, turns around, put up a shot, and he was fouled. Ball never got to the hoop. And the foul on Chicago is on Grant. Morris Grant with his third foul. And it puts Brad Doherty on the free throw line. Brad has only eight points in the ball game tonight and has hit four out of six free throws. One up, good. Nine for Brad Doherty. 
Cavs trailing 111 to 109 with a minute and 31 to play in the overtime. Doherty again. Ready. Aims. Fires. Got it. Ten points for Brad Doherty. 111-110 Chicago with a minute and 29 to go and the Bulls have the ball. Into the fourth court, B.J. Armstrong. Armstrong between the circles against Price. Armstrong to the right wing, right side to Jordan. Jordan on the right wing against Winston Bennett. Jordan goes into the lane, whistle, and he was bumped, and a foul was called. A ticky, ticky tack foul. Bennett with his third. And the Cavaliers are over the limit. Jordan fouled in the act of shooting anyway. We'll go to the line. He has 65 points in the ball game. Again, they show it on the tell screen. That was weak. <laughs> Jordan's free throw, good. 66 for Michael. But folks, you better not cry. It ain't going to change as long as this man plays basketball. B.J. Armstrong replaced by Clifford Lett. He is the rookie out of Florida. And Jordan, second one rattles the rim and goes in. 67 points for Michael Jordan. 113-110, Chicago. With the lead, the Cavs with the ball and a minute eight to go. Price, sideline right, lobs into Hot Rod. Hot Rod draws a crowd back to Price. The three in the air, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound out of bounds. It hit Cartwright and went out, so the Cavs got a break in the ball back. Winston Bennett will inbound to the baseline. 113-110 Chicago into Elo. Elo right sideline out to Price over to Hot Rod left of the circle. Hot Rod goes into the lane, muscled up a shot and was fouled. The foul was on Grant. Horace Grant with his fourth foul. And that puts the Bulls over the limit. Hot Rod fouled in the act of shooting. John has 21 points in the ball game. 52 seconds to play. First one for Hot Rod is good. 22 for John, and it is 113 to 111. B.J. Armstrong comes back into the ball game, replacing Clifford Lett. Lett 6-3 out of Florida. Picked up out of the CBA when they put Hodges on the list. Second free throw up and in. 23 for Hot Rod of the Cavaliers. Trail by one. Ball comes into B.J. Armstrong in the backcourt, doubled by Doherty and Price over to Cartwright. Cartwright comes into the forecourt. Cartwright pressure from Doherty gives the ball to Grant. They lob it to Cartwright. Cartwright over to Pippen. Pippen on the left wing. 37 seconds to give to Jordan. Jordan with six on the shot clock. Goes down the right side of the forecourt. Pulls up for the jumper. He missed it. Rebound Elo. Elo hangs on for dear life and gives the ball to Price. 25 seconds to go and the Cavs trail by one. Price on the left wing. Price looking inside. Price around a Doherty pick. Spins to the circle. Right wing. Elo for three. Hits the rim. No, and it goes over the backboard and out of bounds. And the Bulls get it back. 12.2 seconds to go. Bulls with the ball. Into Armstrong, and he is immediately fouled. Both Price and Hot Rod grabbed him. Bavetta can choose which of the two he wants, and the foul will be charged to Price. That's three on Price. So B.J. Armstrong goes to the other end of the floor for two shots. He has not been to the free throw line tonight. Has four points of the ball game. He is an 86% free throw shooter. Bulls, very good team shooting free throws. 10.7 seconds left of the overtime. Armstrong sights and shoots the first one, and he got it. Five points for B.J. Armstrong, and the Cavaliers trail 114 to 112. And again, Armstrong, line to the right. Ready, aims, fires, got it. Six for Armstrong, and the Cavs take time. Timeout with 10.7 seconds to play in the overtime. The Bulls 5-3 on the Cleveland Cavaliers Radio Basketball Network. Well, the network stations, that final one minute and five seconds we owe you will come at the end of this overtime period, no matter what happens. Kerr is into the ball game for the Cavs. 
Elo fires to Price, 10.5 seconds. Price spins away from Jordan, and a foul was called, and Jordan leveled Price. So Michael Jordan picks up his fifth foul with a penalty situation. Price shoots two. That was a very wise move. 8.3 seconds to go. Price will shoot two. He might well have had three, and Jordan not flattened them. One up, one in. 31 now for Price. Cavs trailing 115-113 with 8.3 seconds, and Price missed the second one, but the rebound is on uh, Grant's behalf, and Hot Rod fouled him and fouls out of the game. So Hot Rod departs with 7.6 seconds to go in the overtime, and it's 115-113. Grant will go to the free throw line. Grant, two for two at the line. Chucky Brown comes in to replace Hot Rod, who finishes the evening with 23 points, fouling out of the overtime. Bulls by two with 7.6 seconds to go. They're gonna bring Davis back in for Chicago. Horace Grant at the free throw line. If he hits them both, he can kiss a goodbye, but he takes care of that by blowing the first. Now, Grant will step back to the line as Davis is into the lineup with five points. Cartwright sits down. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Jordan. Jordan dribbles outside on the chase. Elo grabs him, and that's the ball game. Boy, Michael has done it all. Foul on Elo. He fouls out of the game with 4.2 seconds to go. Grant blew both free throws, but Michael Jordan was there to pick off the rebound and will go down to the line for his 68th and 69th points of this game. Four point two seconds to go in OT. Strange night. An awesome individual performance by Michael Jordan. You have to realize the Bulls have only one other man in double figures, and that is Horace Grant with 16. Going to bring John Morton into the ball game to replace Elo as the Cavs take the full 30 seconds allotted to make the change. So Jordan standing at the line. Bulls by two. Jordan ready. Puts the first one up. It is good. He has 68 points. Jordan again, line to the right. Ready? Shoots. Turn out the lights. That's 69 for Jordan, and the Cavs take time with 4.2 seconds to play in the overtime. We'll keep it right here and take the commercial at the end of the ball game, which is 4.2 seconds away. Let me just briefly dash through the finals elsewhere, and we'll give you details on our scoreboard show. The shocker of the night, New Jersey beat the Knicks 106-101, ending New Jersey's 11-game losing streak. Philadelphia wins a big ball game in the Atlantic Division, 122-104 over Boston. So Philly is now three over Boston and four over the Knicks. Washington buried Denver, 113-99. Miami held off Orlando 109 to 104. The Detroit Pistons took Charlotte 106 to 97. Minnesota over Sacramento 93 88. Even have a consolation score from the NIT for third place. Penn State 83, New Mexico 81. St. Louis is playing Vanderbilt for the championship. Here the Bulls lead by four, 113 to 117 in overtime at the Coliseum. The Cavs' next game will be Friday night down in Miami. They'll come home for a Sunday noon game, or actually one o'clock, make it a one o'clock ball game on Sunday against the Indiana Pacers. Now the Cavs with Price, Kerr, Martin, Brown and Doherty on the floor. The Bulls counter with Davis, Pippen, Jordan, Armstrong, and Grant. 
Brown at center floor. Chucky deals to Morton. Morton stepped over the timeline. Well, that's the way it goes, folks. An over and back violation as Morton took one step back to start his move into the fourth court. And the Bulls get the ball back with 2.9 seconds. Davis looks, lobs cross court to Pippen. Pippen hangs on to the ball, and the game is over. Final score, the Chicago Bulls 117, the Cleveland Cavaliers 113 in overtime as Michael Jordan scores 69. Now we'll be back after we take this 65-second timeout on the Cleveland Cavaliers radio basketball network. 